Sugar beet and sugar cane are natural plants and both have been cultivated around the world for centuries and used and consumed in moderation for their health benefits. However, in more recent times, both plants have been grown to produce refined white sugar, which can be extremely addictive. Consuming refined sugar on a daily basis in our diet has been proven to cause weight gain, high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol and a host of other diseases relating to an early end of life. Refined sugar is made from processing the sugar beets or sugar canes. Our bodies don't need refined sugar to function, but trying to avoid refined processed sugar in our diet is a challenge, since it can be found in almost all manufactured food products in order to improve the taste. Artificial sweeteners such as saccharin, aspartame, sucralose and xylitol, amongst others, are made from chemicals, some of which can be toxic. Consuming them can cause side effects such as headaches and migraines, mood swings, IBS, bloating, cramping and dizziness, and studies have shown that some may be linked to cancer and dementia. Many sweeteners contain e-numbers which cause hyperactivity. Many e-numbers can be found in jellied sweets and sugary drinks. Ever wondered why some children are hyperactive, irritable and don't want to sleep? Refined sugar and artificial sweeteners are also highly addictive. In hot climates, any sugar not in a container will soon have ants crawling all over it as they love it. Strangely enough, they avoid artificial sweeteners. Perhaps it's because some of these have more chemicals? Sugar can be as addictive as drugs and alcohol, and of course, much harder to avoid since it's in so many products. It tricks us by giving us a quick high feeling when we eat it, and this leads to cravings and wanting more. The worst culprits are those that lead us to believe they're good for us, such as energy drinks, fruit juices and cereals. If you're in any doubt about any product, have a look at the back of the packet or tin and check the sugar content. Some of the symptoms of reducing and coming off sugar, which can come on within only a few hours, include cravings, lack of energy, anxiety, headaches, insomnia, chills, nausea, bloating and depression. It can be of no wonder that so many people from around the world, especially those that follow a typical Western diet, are obese and have health problems. If we look at our grandparents' generation, then we can see that they lived much longer than current generations. They were born before additives, chemicals and artificial preservatives were included in consumer goods, unlike the current generations. They did have sugar in their diets, but they made their own sweet products, desserts and cakes, and they ate it in moderation. There are some wonderful channels here on YouTube that show you how you can make your own desserts, and some of these are sharing their family recipes that have been handed down from previous generations. There are several alternatives where you can still have the sweet taste without adding refined sugar and artificial sweeteners. Raw honey is very sweet and a great alternative, as are coconut oil, maple syrup and stevia, but make sure they are raw. If you have a problem with sugar addiction and overeating, then please see the links below, as help will be available in your area and country. Love, light and healing to all.